Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Wormer, and this is Deltarune Chapter 2. When I first played Undertale and Deltarune on my channel this year for the first time, and they quickly became games that were very, very important to me, and I'm really excited to see what's going to be happening next with Deltarune Chapter 2. Honestly, I have no idea, but that's kind of the beauty of Toby Fox's games. Uh, they're both beautiful and terrifying and nerve-wracking all at the same time. Yeah, we're going to start from chapter 2. I originally played the first chapter on the Switch, but I really wanted to play this again, so we're going to be playing it on the, uh, PC for now. The first chapter was amazing. It had some of the best character interactions, some of the best character stories. And here we go again. Oh man, I kind of miss these in games. I really miss like having dedicated save files for the games themselves, not just like save files for the systems themselves. Like it's just really neat. And it's like this whole series is kind of like a, thro a throwback in a way. Enter your, okay, so your own name, okay. But that's kind of like why I like it. It's a throwback without like going too, f like with still ha while still having its own personality, if that makes sense. That's what's so cool about these, uh, about Undertale and Deltarune. Like, it's like paying respect to older games while also carving your own identity. Chris. Chris, honey. Are you awake? So this is, okay. Wait. Is that a... A knife? Oh no, remember how the last one ended. Chris, did you eat all the pie? It is your knife in this empty tin, isn't it? Your knife? Like, you, like what, a kid has his own knife? Oh, Chris. Am I going to have to lock the oven again? Locking? I never heard of locking an oven. Is that something that happens? Well, hurry out of bed. It's time for school. I'm actually kind of excited to go to school this time in this game. Again, Chris's character design is freaking awesome. It's so cool. And we're just moving around in Delta Room once again. Closed drawer. There's five dollars in your brother's drawer. Take it. No, I will not. It isn't yours after all. Yeah, one of the things that won't carry over, I think, is that I won't have any of the items I got in the first game. Uh, it's a birdcage. When the door is closed, there's no escape. True. So that's maybe one thing that I'll probably miss from the other save file. But uh, Toby Fox said that you can play the game no problem uh, if you don't have your original save file, which a lot of people probably won't. On the computer's desktop is a folder called Epic Game Stuff. <laughs> it's a poorly drawn design for a game. Seems the last boss is a creature with a giant rainbow wings. It doesn't seem like this game ever saw the light of day. Wow. Underneath the bed is an old cartridge of Cat Petter's RPG. Catty and Catty can be seen faintly written on its worn uh, on it in, in worn gel in worn gel pen. That's actually like uh, something that we used to do a lot. Even after a long night, the sunrise is in the same is the same as always. Yeah, some beautiful writing here as well. Trying to read every single thing I can. There's no time to read books, just generally, <laughs> like not even now, just in in general. How to draw dragons is at the bottom of the drawer. The purple character on the cover is dressed immodestly. Your brother will never return this book. <laughs> It's what they call you. I think they've changed some of this di the, some of the text here. The door is locked. Like I can kind of like respect that, you know. Now I'm not gonna remember all like what the text was, but oh, I love the environments in these games too. Like just everything like feeling very homely. Like can sometimes like you know be like what they're trying to do like to try and unnerve you a little bit, but I think it actually works out a lot. A lot. There's a photo in the fridge. It is you. It is of you, your mother, and your brother. Yep. Yeah. There's some cinnamony batter cake on the stovetop. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. I can't believe I'm playing this game. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm one of the very lucky people that only started playing it this year for the first time. And then didn't have to wait that long. I literally had to wait like two months to get this uh, next part. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Oh. What's in here? Oh, it's a bathroom. You can always tell how good a game is by how good the bathroom is. And this is a good bathroom. Functional. It's a toilet. Flush it? Of course. You flush the toilet. I think that's the same as last time. It's not yet time to wash your hands. Well, I just touched the toilet, so maybe. 
On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. Very well. Okay. Oh, I thought that was blood for a second, but it just looks like it's like a little cozy for under the TV. It's a TV. It looks like it's plugged in, but it's dusty. So nobody really watches it that much, I'm guessing. It's a Cherry L. <laughs> the beloved living room chair. Of course, I don't record on PC often. I could record on PC more often. Uh, so if there is any mistakes or there's any problems, you guys let me know and I'll be able to fix them later. Well, shall we go? Yes, sure. The car ride. The school is actually very close by. I could walk, maybe. Oh, we're just right here. Oh my god, and like Susie's right there. Susie's just right there in the class. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Like, like, cause I, I like, I, I figure like since last time she didn't like show up, uh, to class until like very late. It's actually kind of cool. Chris, uh, there you are. Even Susie showed up for you. Yeah. <laughs> True. Look at this class as well. It's such great designs too. There's the Tebby in the corner. Hey, Chris. If I knew you were going to be late, I wouldn't have showed up on time. <laughs> I miss Susie as well. Susie, please don't kick your desk. Treat school property like you treat people. Don't tell her that. <laughs> okay. Next time I'll aim for the vitals. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> it's so true. That's not what I... In any case, good morning, class. We have a lot to go over today. First, we're starting in the reading from page 142. Any... any volunteers? Um, uh, I guess I could read the... Ah. Trouble yourself not, Noel. I will valiantly take this... Look at the sprite. The blow of humiliation. Um, that's okay. I can... Ahem. <clears throat> page 142. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. This face. <laughs> times are pretty good. Times are pretty bad. <laughs> Mediocre times. Iffy times. So, so times. That's brilliant. Listening to this, your eyes began to close automatically. If someone was standing on the table in my class, I would be so enthralled. Have a nice day, everyone. Oh, we slept through the entire day. And, and please, uh, remember your group projects. Oh, um, Chris, are you okay? You were, um, sleeping all class. Don't worry, I'm not mad, just concerned. Usually you only sleep through the start. Uh, good luck and rest tonight, okay? Sure, thank you. Again, Chris's design's fantastic, just really great. Chris, this whole partner thing, you didn't lose sleep over it, did you? Uh, lost sleep from being Susie's partner, actually sleep quality increased. Huh? Chris, that's, um, good, I think. So maybe you were just staying up late talking to Azriel online again? Maybe. Huh, wait. You can't do that, right? <laughs> I hope the internet gets fixed soon. I don't want to revert into my primal form. <laughs> the face as well. Susie! Hey! The cool ripped jeans suit. Did they make Susie's character model even cooler? Well, look who it is. The school zombie. You were sleeping like a corpse all class. What's the matter? Had trouble going Betty by last night? <laughs> Me too, Chris. Like I could, like I could sleep after yesterday. It was just yesterday. Isn't that so strange that like the whole crazy occurrence only happened yesterday? Just waiting for today felt like years. Did all that stuff really happen? Yeah, sure. Lancer, Ralse, everyone, are they still? Look, you've been wondering the same thing, right? Come on already. Oh my god, that was a really good animation. I feel like they get better every time we play these games, though. Look, the animation's here. Also, I'm playing with an Xbox controller. I've heard there's some compatibility issues with um, controllers with the, with the current version of the game. Uh, hopefully, it won't be too bad. You know what I mean? Hopefully, it won't be too bad. All right, Chris, this is it. Moment of truth, so we're just gonna go back here? Everything we've been waiting for is just behind us. If we, uh, open this and there's nothing inside, will we still be... Screw it, let's just open it already. Will we still be what? Um, Susie? Oh, look at that, look at the, what the hell? <laughs> this is such a... 
<laughs> the pose. Great character design, this too, on Noel. Noel, hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm sorry to bother you, but, um, I... Well, I just... Birdly and I were going to the library, too, to do some research for our group projects, and... If it's okay, um, would you want to come, too? Oh, Susie's not covering her face, by the way, as much as before. Very cool. Oh, Chris, you can come, too, I mean. Uh, I mean... We're, like, uh... Busy with, uh... Chris, let me out here. What do we say? Do we get to choose? Hanging out alone in the closet. Crime. <laughs> what do I say? These are both, like, fantastic. These are both fantastic answers. What do I say? I want to say both, but, like, crime is really funny. Hanging out in the closet alone is also funny. Should I say crime? I don't want to make Susie feel uncomfortable. Um... <laughs> They're both great. What do I do? This is the toughest choice I've ever had in any Toby Fox game. This is the toughest choice. Hang out in the, alone in the closet. Crime. Hang out alone in the closet. Crime. Crime. Oh, no. Uh, crime? Crime is funny. Crime is really funny. This is gonna... What is this? This is the thing that roadblocks me. Uh, hanging out alone in the closet. Crime. Uh crime. You know, just committing crimes. <laughs> just gonna do some crimes and go to jail. <laughs> Forever. It sucks. Oh, um, well, uh, <laughs> that sounds, uh, have fun, you two. I'll, um, be at the library. Chris, if you could bring her by later, it would mean a lot to me. Wait, Chris, what the hell was that? Why would Noel ask me to do homework with her? Death wish much? Does she want to fail? Wait a second. Wait a second. Chris, did you notice how nervous she was? And like, blushing and stuff? Oh. Chris, uh, you don't think she, uh... She's onto our secret identities? <laughs> sure. Sure, why not? You know, this dark world stuff. Damn. We gotta keep this under wraps, Chris. This is our thing, you know? Yeah, it's our thing. It's our thing, sure. Anyway, enough waiting already, right? Let's go. Are we actually going in here? Oh, it's happening like, right away. Nah, this, the designs here are freaking amazing. They're absolutely fantastic. The characters, too, are just pretty great all around. Oh, no, we're just going. Like, guess thing, we're chapter two. This isn't like, uh, like we're... Hey, Chris, uh, you really gonna walk ever so slowly? I know you're kind of, uh, taking it in, but you can run, you know. You remembered something about the B button. Oh, yeah, and it's actually tied to the Xbox controller. Thank you so much, that's so efficient. Toby Fox and your team, if you have a team now, I'm not sure if you do yet. But, um, that's incredibly efficient, thank you. Here we are. Chris, uh, Susie. It's been ever so long. Yeah, yeah, it's been, what, a day? <laughs> that is short, isn't it? I think they're kind of playing up the fact that we haven't seen, like, that, like, they know that, like, Toby Fox knows that we're, like, haven't been around in a while. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? Like, no one knows that, like, this took a while to come out. That is short, isn't it? It's just that I've, um, never had friends before. So I've never waited so long to see them again, either. Oh, that's very sweet. Fine. Guess we'll try not to let you die of loneliness. I bet Lancer wants to see us too, right? I really want to see Lancer too. Lancer's great. Hey, wait a sec. Where is Lancer? Oh, Susie's so like the first thing uh, Susie worries about. Worries about. Where's everybody? Worry not, Susie. You'll see them in a moment. Just wait here, all right? Uh, okay. Hey, this better not be some kind of prank or something. Susie. <laughs> Chris, I have something to ask you. I need you to return to the light world and go to the old classroom on the east of the closet doors. To the east of the closet doors, okay. Inside, gather everything on the ground and bring it back here, could you? I mean, okay. I have no 
objections. Can we just return? We can just return to the light world like this. We can go back and forth like this, which is really cool. Um, east. So here we go. You gathered all the junk off the floor and turned it into a giant dusty ball, and it's on our heads, bold and brash on the wall here. It's really weird seeing this place be so clean. I guess we'll just go back in here. Man, I've learned not to trust anything in these worlds. That's why I'm so... Wait, did that, get, did that leave us? Hey, Chris, so where is every... One? Wait. Wait, what? Do we have to bring them back with us every single time? Is that what how this works? I love these, these, these places too, but Lancer! Guess who's back, clowns? Lancer! Oh, the high five, yes. It's so good to see these two together as well. Hey, Chris, uh, don't know what you did, but hell yeah. Everyone's here. But what happened to uh, Lancer's castle? All gone. Gone? Right when Chris sealed the fountain, that dark world disappeared and turned back into a normal classroom. So, where's Lancer gonna live now? Don't worry, Susie. We'll conquer Ralsei's castle as our own. The two of them are like, like the thing is they're half, half joking. <laughs> the two of them. Chris, as you bring Dark World denizens back here, the power of our fountain will transform this town more and more. From now on, the enemies we spare Oh, we'll be recruited to our town. Now there's some stakes for like actually sparing some enemies. That's really cool. So let's keep uh, sparing enemies, okay? Anyhow, why don't we all have a look around? We can head north towards the castle. I have a special surprise to show you there. <laughs> Not if I surprise myself first. Last one there was a fresh and fragrant egg. <laughs> Come on, Chris. You gonna let him beat us? Yes, I am. I'm sorry, but I'm playing Deltarune Chapter 2. I'm going to be talking to whoever I, whoever I can. Ah, thou hast transplanted us to thine castle town. And truly a magnificent town of castles it art. But oh, something art, lacking it feeleth. Could thou it guys perhaps bring an evil ruler or something? I mean, maybe. It's really cool seeing all these characters again, though. Seems like Hathi likes this place. She hopes you'll like it too. I think I will. What does the sign say? Mama Miba, welcome to the top bakery. Our special chef spin baked goods at the top of their class. Wait, Lancer, I thought you were heading off. I guess not. It's such a great environment too. Like that's the thing though, they always get like the indoor environments like really right in these games. Like they always like really fantastic. Hello. Welcome, welcome to Top Bakery. I am the bakery smith, Malleus. I do not know what any of these strange tools are for, but using my skills, I can fuse items to create new ones. So we have nothing. That's the thing. We have, we, wait. Yeah, we have, we have nothing right now. We have absolutely nothing right now. Oh, I am Chef Lancer. Try my delicious hand-formed cookies. They are free for a price. What's the price? Zero dollars. <laughs> uh, take a cookie, sure. I now pronounce you Cookie and Wife. Lancer. Lancer Cookie was added to your items. Thank you. Thank you so much. Re yeah, no, just really fantastic environments. Um, I think that it's one of those things that, like, I, I like to take it, like, take a second to notice them all the time, or at least, like, talk about them all the time, because there's that old Futurama quote that says if you do things right, people won't be sure you've done anything at all. And I never want a game dev to get to that point where like people won't be sure they've done something amazing. Wow, look at this. Because they are really good. Wow, our house is a dojo. Makes me want to fight. Can we go to sleep? A dojo? Do you mean a disco? Looks like fighting wasn't in the cards for us. Lucky for you. Just hope you don't meet my friends. Oh, this guy we have to switch around. Finally, a dojo for people that are normal shaped. I will train myself for the tournament. Hey, boss. Boss. I'm so glad I have a nice boss. I can shed a tear. But I won't. I'm on the job. I'll cry at home with the kids. Boss, you're strong. But there's always time to learn. 
The next step after tutorials is training. So me and the boys got together a dojo. Complete our battle challenges and get some fabulous prizes. Meanwhile, you might get a little bit tougher. We're gonna make you the strongest, boss. Um... Should we do this? Is, I wonder, I, see, I'm not sure about anything, really. Oh, the framing was on the side is really cool, too, with, like, the, the boom boxes. Um, I, we could probably try this. Jigsaw Joe, Joe's saving life, Grace Challenge Temp 1, and you get, a, you get, like, learn how to spare like a champ, get 100% TP without getting hit. You can do it, boss. Get 100% TP without getting hit. Uh, it's not Clover's birthday anymore. Okay, let's do Jigsaw Joe at least, at the very least. Oh, it's a freaking boxing ring as well. I suppose you could say wrestling ring if you wanted to too, but it's kind of different than a wrestling ring. Boss, you can act in spare on the same turn. If you know Chris will, Chris's act will give an enemy 100% mercy. Spare them on the same turn with Susie or Ralse. So here we go. So we have um, act, uh, Jigsaw Joe. First we check. Jigsaw Joe jigs in. Uh, we have... Uh, for now, we'll defend, and, and we'll defend as well, just to see what the Jigsaw Joe beat him up to earn his life savings. Boss, don't listen to that. That's the wrong act. The wrong act. So, we don't want to beat him up. Shave. Let's shave him. And then let's spare him like this. Uh, and double spare. Double spare. Did that make him, like... Oh, boss, you spare me? So that actually worked out pretty well. Great. Wait a second. I got something else to remind you of. Boss, it works the same when making an enemy tired. If an act will make an enemy tired, use Ralsei's pacify right away. So we go... Uh, sleep story. And then we go... Uh, magic pacify. Yeah, really good. Actually, you know what? It's actually pretty... Um, I'll say this right now, it's actually really good to like refresh people with this because I like, you know, some things like you, you don't remember always, you know. You did it boss, if you can manage to spare enemies right away, battles will go a lot faster, that's all. An amazing battle. As promised, here is your reward. You receive Joe's life savings, one dollar. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, a bed for three people, one uh, or one three-headed person. Help. I'm Battlemaster. Ask me about battles. Uh, no, we're fine. I think we're fine on that. Like the thing is, I pl I'm I'm a bit different because I played it recently. I played it very recently. Um, with these games. Thanks to you, Commander. We've been liberated. Are you ready to clear today National Ham Sandwich Day of Independence? Oh, nice, nice little ham sandwich. This guy always seems like he's enjoying life more than me. Maybe it's because he's a higher level. That could be it. The music's really fantastic too. Calvin Town? No! Stop that! I should have changed the name! Or so I hear it's called. No! I never want a town named after me. Oh my god. If I ever became like famous and I heard that like after like I'm like after I pass away they name a freaking school after me, I'd be like, oh my god, please stop. Oh hello, how are you doing? One of the coolest designs too. Let's talk. Um so you're in the castle town. Well, now it makes no difference to me. As long as I stay in my shop, these walls will change. But, in a way, I suppose it's just a little bit of music to see you again. I'm sure you three will have an interesting journey. Me? I'll just be robbing the same old junk. As you find stronger treasure, I'm sure you'll have a little per a reason to return here. But if you have some time, I'll offer you a biscuit and a hint. Uh, okay, is that all we have to do? The little prince has something to show you in his castle. Well now, are you going to tear down a royal invitation? Now we won't. Thank you so much for talking to us though, for, for what you did. Again, the shops are very simple, but they work. Bow, bow. I'm just a block. I'm taking my time here. I don't want to like rush this, like uh, guys, because it's very clear we won't get another one of these for a while. It's a clean start for us here. Okay. Oh, look at this. The lighting is well over here. And that's like color. You know, that's someone who understands color. Mamma Miba. I want to do the bakery, but someone is already working there. A cafe that serves pastries. What a disgrace. What sort of humiliation this thing will happen next? Uh, check recruits. 
check recruits. Okay, so we can check recruits here. So these, these are the people we, we spared. I wonder would they have, like, um, passed over on the people that we spared? If that's the case, then it might be a good idea to eventually, like, replay all of this and, like, spare everybody. If that's what happened. Because I, like, I spared everybody. I spared absolutely everybody. Like, truly. Hey, boss. I have a dark card to, uh, Starfay. Sure is great to be here with my best friend, Hathi. Bet it is. I bet it is. Hathi seems fine. Lemonade, please. Lemonade. Oh, we didn't check the jukebox or the wall. Oh, no, can't check the wall. The song here is really good too. The jukebox is broken. Feels like you might never find a working one. Okay. I think at that point we can probably move on. There's probably gonna be some stuff we miss at times. What is this book? It's a manual, read a topic. So we get, here we go. So there's controls, item storage, recruits. Um, let's read up on recruits very quickly. If you spare or pacify enough enemies of the same type, they will be recruited. Recruits will appear in your town. Wonder what happens if you get them all. You can check the area's recruit status to save points if certain bosses are excluded. Okay, cool. And it's the save point. The castle town is transformed from, uh, the, from the uh, power of friendship. You are filled with the power of friendship based architecture. That's the best type of architecture. That's the best type of architecture. I do kind of wish this released on all platforms at the same time, but like, it's understandable if it takes a little bit more time for him to do this. Oh, hello. It's a bit scary moving to a new place, but as a ball, there's nothing to sphere except sphere itself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Prince Rossi, I will keep your uh, hat erect until you need it. Oh, it's a hat rack. Just want to show off your huge house, huh? No, no. What I wanted to show you is upstairs. We were here before, but obviously in a different context, right? The door is locked. What are you keeping secret, Ralsei? Second floor living quarters. Oh, man. I have a surprise for you two. I made rooms for you in the castle. R rooms? So you can stay here whenever you want. Um, I'd be happy if this place could be like a second home to you. A place that you can go. No matter what's happening outside. <laughs> well, we'll take a look. So... Wow. It's a stand for your manual. I thought you might want to keep it in here in case you want to read it. It's your bed. It feels incredibly soft, like sleeping on a dream. Great colors, too. It's a wardrobe full of all sorts of different clothes. You can wear whatever you want. It's a shelf. All sorts of keepsakes could be put here. It's a stand. Yeah, we, are, we already read this part as well. Okay, very cool. I like my room. Oh, man. And Susie, this is your room. Um, I tried to make it something you'd like, but you can put anything else you want in here, too. I really hope you like it. The battle axe is on the wall, too. Susie's taking a good look. My own room, huh? I guess it's pretty cool. My own room. Like this. How long did it take you to do this? Well, uh, since I last saw you two, I... Oh, the punch, the punch in the arm. Man, you're a real weenie, you know that? <laughs> I think she likes it, Chris. I think she does too. <laughs> Jealous I got the cool room? Look, Chris. It is pretty cool. It's a clothes drawer full of spiky and dangerous clothing. All of the clothes are ripping each other up into shreds. Hell yeah, jealous, Chris. <laughs> I am kind of jealous. Susie, you didn't get to read the manual, so I put it over here for you. Cool. I'll read it before bed. That'll put me to sleep. <laughs> Damn, there's everything in here. Pine cones, chalk, moss, jars of, jars of salsa, pieces of ice, black crumbs for the toaster, jawbreakers. Oh, and like actual food too. 
You get your own fridge. Cool. Spike bed. <laughs> now I can stab myself during the night. Finally some convenience. Susie is, um, I love the way the pattern goes off here, like, with the rest of the castle. Like, like, the, the half carpet. Who could, whose house could this be? I wonder whose room could this be? Cease this. You okay, Lancer? How are you? Lancer, you aren't gonna believe how sick my room is. A room as sick as you? Well, I wanna see. I'll keep digging holes until I reach your room. <laughs> He's digging holes. Uh, it's, it's got a door, you know. A door? Wow. Peach boy, you went all out. And we have Lancer's wall here. His bed here. It's a hole made recreationally. Wow, it's better than I remember. I even have my own bed now. Now I don't have to sleep in a hole anymore. I thought you already had a bed. No, that was for the bike. <laughs> I love this game. I love these characters. Are you okay? A little of my floor is full of holes. Very well. We saw almost, we saw basically like everything. Did we just go back downstairs now or is there something that we have to trigger? Because like usually like there's like so, okay. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so what do we do now? Feel free to explore the town until you're ready to leave. Huh. Like we're going to leave now, right, Chris? I mean, it's still a nice offer. I mean, regardless of that, we're going to end the first video here and come back in the next one. Uh, this flew by, by the way, uh, playing this game. It's just really enjoyable playing this type of game always. And I can't wait to see what's going to be happening next. I'm glad that we could spend the first, like, 30 or 25 to 30 minutes just kind of having fun with the game. You know what I mean? Just kind of having fun, not having any worries about what's going to be happening next. There is kind of, like, that thing in the back of my mind. Uh, but all these characters kind of definitely put me at uh, a slight ease. Um, so I'm glad that we got to do that for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.